Hi, my name is Krzysztof Kardach. I work at Omni 3D. I have been using Simplify 3D professionally for several years. Today, I would like to show you how to significantly speed up manual support edition. A few years ago, when Simplify 3D was introduced to the market, one of its game-changing features was manual support edition. So if I have 3D model, I can, before slicing, simulate where the supports would be and in a custom support mode, I can remove the pillars I do not want and also add support structures uh, in the places I consider necessary. But there is one big drawback to this. I have to manually click on each pillar to add or remove it. As you can see on this model, for example, you can have thousands of pillars to remove. In case of some models, it makes correct support addition very difficult or even impossible. Fortunately, there is a simple tool that allows us to edit supports much, much faster. It is simply called AutoClicker. This program just clicks for us, but much faster. You can find the download link in the description. In this program, I can set the interval at which I want to trigger a program click. In my case, I set it to 20 milliseconds, which means I will have 50 clicks per second. Also, it is very convenient to set a hotkey which will start and stop auto-clicking. In my case, I used tilde button. It is the key you don't use very often. It's above tab on your keyboard. So once I minimize auto-clicker and press uh, tilde button, I can start auto-clicking. In order to work it properly okay. with Simplify 3D, however, I have to modify buttons assigned to rotating and panning the view. I change it if I go to Tools, Options. By default, you rotate by clicking left mouse button and that is in conflict with our auto-clicker, causing the view to rotate the same time I edit supports. In my case, I used uh, the same settings I have in Fusion 360. So Shift plus middle button to rotate and middle button to pan the view. Once I have it configured this way, I can go to Manual Support Edition, choose Remove Existing Supports, and after clicking tilde key, I have to only drag my mouse over the supports and they will be removed. 50 pillars in one second, so much faster in comparison to clicking by hand. And of course, you can also use it to add supports. I hope you like this video. If you would like to see more tutorials like this, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel.